What's going on, yo? This is Trivia slash Reactions 94. Getting ready to do my reaction to this WWE Universal Championship match Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. No disqualification. Chris Jericho and Roman Reigns have been banned from ringside. So, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I, I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and call it right now before before they start the match. I think tonight, tonight when Triple H comes back again and he screws Seth Rollins again and helps Kevin Owens win like he did when uh when he screwed Seth back in August and helped Kevin Owens win the championship. I think tonight is the night that uh I think tonight's the night he comes back and, and, and screws Seth out of the championship again because they're going to fight at WrestleMania. I think we all know that. So. I think tonight's, tonight's going to be the night when uh, tonight's going to be the night. Sorry, I'm watching this Enzo and Cass, this Christmas thing they're doing. He had a fucking hilarious backstage segment tonight when he was a uh, he was like fucking naked and shit. He was naked backstage and he was running into he was running he was walking backstage naked and running into people and then he ran into Lana. I told y'all though there was gonna be something behind the Goldberg and Lesnar thing, man. I, I something I knew when 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 Brock got beat like that, I was like something's gotta go down. He's gonna have to wrestle again. You know, most people thought when he came back, it was gonna be a one time thing, and so did I. But after how shit went down last night, I was like, he's, he's going to be back for another match. And tonight, he announced that he was going to be in the Royal Rumble match in January. So, very interested to see how that's going to happen. I, I, maybe Brock enters the Royal Rumble match too. Or maybe he, he just shows up at the Rumble and just screws Goldberg out of the uh, win in the Rumble and beats the fuck out of him. I mean, who knows how that's going to happen. But they're going to fight at WrestleMania again. There's no, I'm 100% I'm confident that they're going to fight at WrestleMania. I would be I would be really surprised if that doesn't happen. Kevin Owens is on the, coming down to the ring now. I think I think Triple H is gonna come out. I think he's gonna come out and, and because it's no disqualification, there's no rules. Jericho can't help Kevin. He's banned from ringside. Roman can't come out either because he's banned from ringside. So I think I think I think tonight Triple H will come back and help. Kevin win because he can't. He's not gonna beat Seth clean. He's a heel. He's, he's not gonna beat Seth clean. And plus, y'all yeah, know y'all seen you know, fucking Sami Zayn get destroyed by Braun Strowman. I, w I wish they would just put Sami on SmackDown. Please just put Sami on SmackDown. He would have such a better opportunity on SmackDown. He could actually be fucking champion on SmackDown. And it ain't gonna do shit with him on Raw. He's got buried by Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman, though, is fucking. I, I'm a big Braun Strowman fan. I love Braun Strowman. He, he can fucking. I wasn't very impressed with what he, what he did at Survivor Series, the way he was working. He, he can work. I like Braun. I see big, big future for him. As long as they keep him the way they're going, they don't fucking. You know, they, they, they intend to bury motherfuckers. So. As long as they don't burn. Come Seth down to the ring. Seth freaking Rollins. I gotta get, I gotta get that T-shirt. Seth freaking Rollins. I kind of I kind of miss when he used to have the blonde hair. That when he used to have the half blonde, half black hair when he was in the Shield. I thought that I thought that was dope. It was different. Kind of wish he still had that though, but. This this probably overall is gonna be a great match overall. I'm I'm assuming, but I, I I'm gonna call it and say Triple H will come out and he's going to screw Seth again. This match being on Raw tonight tells me I heard that they're going to have Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens at the Roadblock pay-per-view, title versus title, so I guess they're going to unify two titles. I thought it would have been cool 
if they'd have made the main event at at Roadblock, it'd have been Kevin Owens and Jericho teaming up versus uh, Roman and Seth. And if Roman and Seth won, Roman would retain his U.S. title, and Seth would become WWE Universal Champion. And if Kevin won, Kevin Steen won, he would retain his championship, and Chris would become the new United States Champion. I thought it could, I thought it'd been pretty cool because it could have built up uh, Kevin and Chris more as another their friendship that 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 little uh, that, that their thing they're doing right now. I enjoy. I, I, I'm I'm really glad that Jericho's still there. Actually, he, he came back. He's a, he's basically almost been there a full year. He came back last January, and then most of us thought he was just gonna stick around to WrestleMania. And he's still there. So hopefully he he keeps. I like the run he's doing. Hopefully he he stays there and keeps doing what he's doing. I know he enjoys it. I, I listen to his podcast, the uh, Talk of Jericho podcast. So uh, set to, set this board out of table. Mm. When did they when did they when did they start one of the tables like did they start painting the fucking tables black underneath? These first commercials so going on commercial now. This first commercial break. When did they start doing it? I don't think they was all, I don't think the tables had the black underneath it all the time. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't remember that back in the day. Very though, I can't wait to smack down tomorrow though. Hopefully, I heard that Shane got, uh, was pretty banged up last night. I heard he went to the hospital. You know, he said he was okay, but I heard that he was pretty banged up and sore after the match he had last night. You can, you can kind of just tell. You can, you can really just tell. I don't know if it was ring rust or maybe age catching up with him, or I don't know, but he took he took a few bumps. And uh, you could tell that he was he was feeling it. So I'm glad he's hopefully, he's hopefully he's really okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Shop like a pro at Fast Pro Shops for huge Black Friday savings. Like Redhead's Men, buy pocket jeans for under $10. And this glow-in-the-dark drone with next week on, next week on Raw, they're going to have... They got three no, fucking championship matches next week on Raw. They have... Sasha versus Charlotte again for the championship. If, if, if Sasha wins, they, they, they just keep flip flopping the title. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sasha only beats Charlotte on Raw. She beat her twice on Raw. She will, she can't beat Charlotte at any pay per views because Charlotte's got this fucking streak going on with these pay per view wins. So I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen with that. I'm gonna say Charlotte retains, but I won't be surprised if Sasha wins. You never know that they keep flip flopping the title between the two. New Day defends the championship against Gallows and Anderson. I don't think Gallows and Anderson won yet. I think Vince is going to have New Day pass up Demolition's record as the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. So I think they're going to pass that record up. And then Brian Kendrick versus Rich Swan for the Cruiserweight Championship. I, Rich Swan is my favorite Cruiserweight. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. There's a lot of other great Cruiserweights. You know, like Cedric Alexander is phenomenal. Brian Kendrick, obviously, he's great. No Dar. Uh, Lindsay Dorado, uh, Tony Nese, Sun Cara's in there now. I wish they'd go ahead and put Neville in there. They need to put Neville in there. He'd make a fucking awesome cruiserweight. He'd be the fucking, he'd be the best cruiserweight in the division if they put him in there. But uh, Rich Swan's my favorite cruiserweight though. He's fucking, he's a beast. I, I really like him. I liked him when he was in the cruiserweight classic. I kind of wish he would have went to the finals in the cruiserweight classic. Every year, I need my triple treat. There is so much food and weight. It's a lot of food. Yeah. Guys, I'm snowed. Like the Mountie kind. I didn't even get to sing about how every trip to Treat Box is a chance to win an Xbox One S. Why don't y'all go ahead and uh, follow me on Instagram. Malik Kelly 94 is my Instagram. Facebook's Malik Kelly. Just Malik Kelly. Just Malik Kelly. Just Malik Kelly. Instagram knows Malik Kelly ninety four. 
Snapchat is MTK8000. That's my Snapchat, MTK8000. Dang, he just fucking squashed him with that chair. He fucking smashed him with that. He smashed that chair all right on his back, hard as fuck. That's the only thing about these these DQ matches or these no holds bar matches. They don't. They're not like they were back when I was growing up and shit. They they just use a bunch of chairs and shit now. I know they don't. Take chair shots to the head anymore because of the whole concussion thing and the, like the Crispin Y incident and shit. I get that. I don't. Wanna, I don't understand when people. When do they start doing this ten shit? I know Ty Dillinger is the one. The XU does. They you know the the big the the ten ten. But they, they, now they're just chanting for for everything. You know when they're they're chanting and when, when somebody gets counted out, they chant ten and they, they're just chanting. I think people are just doing it just because it's, it's becoming a popular thing now. I think it's just people are just doing it just to do it. But, like I was saying, they don't do no holds barred in matches and street fight matches like they used to. Those matches, they used to fucking go all out. They used to fucking bleed. They used to put each other through tables, hit each other with chairs, bring out all type, all sorts of fucking weapons and shit. They don't do them like, like, they, like they used to do it. I know it's I know it's PG now. It wasn't PG back then, so they do a little bit different. And they don't take chair shots to the head anymore. Like I said, like I, like I, I understand that. I understand that, but to me, it, uh, it just don't feel like the same. They don't feel like they do it like they used to. Suicide dive. Seth Rollins is so fucking good. He's so good. I wish he still, man. I wish he still wore the gloves though when he when he, when he comes out, man. I used to. I liked it when he wrestled in the gloves. Seth's got a chair in his hand. So you know, he's got it set up. Off the chair, Kevin. Oh! Face first, right to the chair. I think I think Triple H will come out, man. I'm I'm kind of just waiting. Obviously, it'll take a while. The match we'll have to get built up. Move on to another commercial. Another commercial. What is the next pay per view? TLC the next pay per view? AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose. That should be a, that should be a pretty good fucking match. I expect AJ. AJ is probably going to be champion up until WrestleMania. So, uh, most likely, he's going to get beat by Cena because whether people whether people like it or not, he's going to be the 16-time world champion. This is bound to happen. And then he's going to he's probably going to end up winning the championship two more times. He's going to be he's going to be the like 17-time world champion. He's going to pass up Ric Flair's record. Ric Flair has spoken about it. he doesn't really care if it happens because he respects John Cena enough. So if it happens with him, he's cool with it. But he's gonna be the 16-time world champion. I know people are gonna fucking bitch and complain about that, lose their minds about it. I've been, I don't know if I said before, but John Cena is my favorite superstar of all time. I grew up, grew up watching John Cena when he was on the rise. Like, I, I was watching John Cena before he was actually, you know, John Cena. You know what I mean? So he's he's been my favorite superstar of all time. I've never changed it, despite what his character is and 
what do you what do you dress is like? I don't I really don't care. I don't give a fuck. He's been my favorite superstar ever since I was a kid. Since I was eight years old. I'm not gonna, I'm not, you're not gonna change that. Oh shit. <sighs> This better be this better be the last fucking commercial for the IS ten fifty seven so this this will be the last one. This better be the last commercial. Can't I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna be really, uh, maybe, maybe Stephanie will come out in this match, I don't think, but, I'm, 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 I'm sure Triple H is gonna come out, I, 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 it would, it makes sense, but I'd be really surprised if he didn't come out, but I'm gonna say Triple H comes out, uh, Stephanie could come out, but she's not really involved in anything like that, any storylines right now. I mean, there's Triple H, but he screwed Seth before, so why not do it again? You know. Hey, that was. The show just started coming on. It's called Shooter. It comes on right after SmackDown on USA. The show looks pretty good so far. I watched the premiere last night. Or not last night, but uh, last week. The show is like, gonna be pretty fucking dope. So I check that out. I'm gonna watch this. I'm definitely gonna watch this on the network too. They got this ECW with Paul Heyman, Taz, Tommy Dream, and the Dudley Boys. Hey, it's fucking dope that Taz is there though. I ain't Taz in. I ain't seen Taz in a, in a while. Damn, man, I just still can't believe my boy Brock got beat like that, man. That's, that was just fucking crazy. It was fucking insane, yo. Alright, now we're back on. No DQ match. Maybe Jericho will end up coming out. He's so fucking good. I wish, man, I hate that he uses the pedigree, though. Oh, we put him through the table during the commercial? That was during the commercial, though. I mean, why did they do it during the commercial? And they did a bunch. They put him. He put him through a table, and he did something else during the commercial. Why didn't they do that? Just live on the TV. Maybe Jericho will come out. Maybe he'll still come out. You know, it's no DQ, even though he's banned from ringside, but. Going for the frog splash. Oh, miss. Hey, I hate that he uses the fucking pedigree. I wish he would use. I w He's so creative. He could he could come up with something else. I know. Ko oh, cannonball. I know that he fucking that the WWE banned the curb stomp. Yeah, which was his original finisher. I know they banned the curve stun, but he can, he's so fucking creative. He can come up with something else besides using the pedigree. When you think of the pedigree, you think of Triple H. That's just, that he fucking created that. That's his move. I don't want him using Triple H's move, especially if they fight at WrestleMania. I don't want Tri Triple H getting beat by the pedigree. That's that's his fucking move. Like. Yeah. 
Kevin's doing he's setting some type of he's setting two chairs up right now. He's going for a power bomb. Yeah, he's gonna reverse the flip. Yep. Right on the chair. Damn. Chairs didn't, they didn't even snap either. He kind of just like he fell on them and kind of rolled off. Like hard. Seth Rollins, who knows he has Seth's going under the ring. I'm going to start to pull out a fucking sledgehammer. Another table. Okay. They fucking just, they threw the table that they fucking used the first time, the one he put Seth through, they just threw it under the ring. There was like pieces of it everywhere under the ring. They just cleaned it up and put it on the ring. Anything he can to win the Universal Championship here tonight on Monday Night Raw. That's from the floor again. If you're Seth Rollins, you don't know when you're going to get another opportunity at the Universal Championship. you got to leave it all out on the table. Oh, he's trying to win. Rollins oh, goes to the Look to the fucking ready. face. Nice. Again, Rollins looks to win the title. Frustration seeping down for Seth Rollins. Oh, the botch. He tried to grab the chair and the fucking chair fell out of the ring. Going to the top. Kevin stopped him. Kevin Owens. Kevin going up to the top. Going for the looks like he's going for the suplex. Superplex. Seth stopping it. Blocking it. Oh, uh, power bomb to the table. Mm. Right to the table. Mm. That was that was really close. That was really close. Fucking pieces of the table all over his gear. Yeah, piece of the table. He threw a fucking piece of the table and missed. No, they're about to go into the crowd. So I'm in, this. I'm expecting. I'm. I'm expecting Triple H to start coming out. Down to the crowd, fighting down to the crowd. No one's trying to run away, the Rollins is chasing him. Damn, bro, keep going on my phone. 
escape alive, whichever it works. You want to keep your championship, you have to beat Seth Rollins. Yeah, but Rollins has got to drag Owens back to the ring. That pitfaller submission. And Kevin Owens is trying to get out of the Air Canada Center. Come on, Aaron. I think they're going. I think they're walking up to the stage. No, no, they're in the, they're in the back of the arena. He's still in, still in the crowd. Oh! Went to the fucking, is that a trash can? He threw him into a trash can. He just threw the trash can. Well, they're headed towards the... Uh, the backstage, they're like right towards the backstage curtain. We can go in to the to the back area. I think I think Triple H might pop out right here. The curtain. There's somebody, there's somebody standing right there. I can see somebody's feet under that curtain. Power bomb. Oh, he's going up. Climbing up. He's gonna jump off. He's gonna jump off the top of the thing. He going to jump off the top of the little thing. Crowd's going fucking nuts. Cross body. That was fucking crazy. Hey, Seth is hype, bro. He's hype. They're, I think they're headed back to the ring. I guess okay. So maybe maybe that was like a cameraman under that curtain. I seen somebody's feet under that curtain. Maybe it was like a cameraman or something. Back over the back over the barricade. Oh, somebody! Somebody got a Sin Cara mask on. That's Jericho, bro. It's Jericho, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah Jericho. Jericho had a, he got a fucking hoodie on with a Sin Cara mask. Okay, so Jericho came out. Okay. Maybe no Triple H, no Triple H. It's going for the Jericho about to get pedigreed. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, he's gonna power bomb him on an apron. Oh, fucking. Oh, that had dude, that has to fucking hurt your spine. There's no way that can't hurt. It's fucking the hardest part of the ring. Okay. I was wrong. No Triple H. I thought Triple H would would appear. New Kevin win, but Chris came out. He fucking power bomb right on the edge of that apron, dude. That shit that's the hardest part of the fucking ring. That has to fucking hurt. Strong size. You got a fucking. Is that a Nakamura hoodie on? I think he has a Nakamura hoodie on. It says strong style on the back. It's like Japanese letters. This nigga came out in the crowd with a hoodie and a Saint Cara mask on. I'm interested to see where they go from here. He's got to. Seth's probably gonna have. He's got to have a rematch. But he banned him from ringside, so. Oh, 
the rules. I think this needs to be looked at. Hey, Kevin Owens, whoever is a kick it out there. Power by Roman Aiden. That has to fucking. Oh, that has to fucking hurt, man. That has to fucking hurt. Right on the fucking apron, man. Right. I don't know about that. Damn, man, I was kind of hoping Triple H would come out there. I, 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 I thought really that was really gonna happen. And Chris and Kevin are hugging. Hey, Roman didn't even come out. Surprise, no Roman. They had like three referees in there. With Seth Rollins. That ha I'm telling you, that has to fucking hurt. That can't feel good. No way that can feel good. No, I'm checking out the ECW thing next. Alright, that that wasn't bad. The main event wasn't too bad. I was I, I expected like I like I said, Triple H to come out and screw Seth again because Jericho was banned from ringside, but he came out anyway. So maybe McFully punishes him next week or uh, in Charlotte. Let's we'll see what happens. Um, we're also gonna be pretty nice, sweet next week though. You got three championship matches. You got Sasha versus Charlotte for the women's title. You got uh, the New Day defending the tag team titles against Gallows and Anderson. Then you have uh, the Cruiserweight Championship. Brian Kendrick versus Rich Swan. I think that's on the. They said it's going to be on the the Cruiserweight 205. The new uh. The new Cruiserweight show is going to be on the network, so that might not be on Raw. So that'll be on the the 205 thing. So. Uh, Raw wasn't wasn't too bad. Uh, like I said, Goldberg announced he was going to be in the Rumble, which is pretty it's pretty cool. I'm I'm down with that. I'm into, I'm cool to see where this, where this is going to lead to. Uh. And then. Kevin and Seth had a pretty pretty good match, so I'm interested to see uh, how how they're gonna do this with this next week. Maybe they do. I heard it's supposed to be Roman versus Kevin at the next Raw pay per view Roadblock. I think it's gonna be title versus title, and I think I heard it's gonna be Seth versus Jericho at the pay per view. So after after Jericho screwed Seth, that's probably most likely what's gonna happen. I don't know why they're they're unifying the fucking U.S. title and the Universal title like already. Like why are they combining two championships already? I don't nobody I don't want to see that. They they did that last year with fucking Seth when he beat John Cena at SummerSlam last year and became WWE World Heavyweight Champion and U.S. Champion. I don't want to see them combine those those titles. They should put the U.S. title on Jericho and keep Kevin as the Universal Championship. That would be cool. That would be really cool. They could be fucking. Jericho would have a championship. Kevin would have a championship. It goes. It goes along with the little thing. There's a there, little uh, thing they're doing right now. I'm down with. I'm, I'd be down with that. But they want to make the U.S. title big, and they put it on Roman. So well, let's see what happens next week, man. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. I'm out of here, man.